Breaking news with us, and we're reacting to it, is that uh, Chelsea, in the last few moments, have sacked their manager, Thomas Tuchel. Tuchel has gone and has paid uh, the price of um, indifferent results of late, culminating in last night's defeat in the Champions League opener against Dinamo Zagreb. Uh, Chelsea say, on behalf of everyone at Chelsea, we'd like to thank Thomas and his staff for all their efforts during their time at the club. As a new ownership group reaches 100 days since taking over at the club uh, and as it continues its hard work to take the club forward, the new owners believe it's the right time to make this transition. So Tuchel is gone, but uh, barely hours ago, Tuchel was in Zagreb and was clearly at a loss to know as why his players had lost on the night. I didn't see it coming, so obviously I was <laughs> in the wrong movie. I mean... Uh... I did not see that coming. I thought, uh, I thought that the last game helped us. I don't really know where this performance today comes from. For me, it's a, a lack of determination, even a lack of uh, intensity, a lack of intensity, repetitive intensity, a lack of determination to win duels and to actually do the things on, on, the, on, the, t on the highest level, on the toughest level. And you cannot expect to win games, and not in Premier League and not in Champions League. It's the two toughest competitions then you can play in. And uh, we are clearly not where we want to be. So Thomas Tuchel says he didn't see it coming. And then presumably he didn't see the sack announcement coming this morning from the Chelsea board. Tuchel has been sacked. You heard it first and fastest with us here on this show as always. Live on Talk Sport. I'm with Simon, nobody better. And with Danny Murphy, of course, as well. It being Wednesday. We're going to take your calls as they come in. Simon, switchboard and meltdown. Yeah. We'll get to them. But again, does it tell us something about Bowley? And his associates. Well, I think what will tell us more is who they put who they who they put in. This will be a defining moment in terms of people's judgment of them. It'd be first of all, it'd be interesting to see how the Chelsea fans react to this because you normally get some sort of gauge of what the fans think about their manager by their reaction to something of this nature. But also, they've made their decision. Whatever the reasons are behind it are now, you know, for us to discuss. But who they put in will tell you how they how they view what they're doing next, and that will be the fascinating thing for me. The Poch thing is, you'll never tell you Pochettino, Danny, and Bielsa are the <laughs> early favourites. Graham Potter is also a name yeah. in amongst the we'll, early we'll, favourites. The, the problem is with situations like this is that you'll never be able to compare and contrast what he may have done if he'd have been left in charge against the person who comes in. So it's kind of it's 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 a hypothetical you never know the answer to about if he stayed in would he have turned it round or is a new guy what he does this season whoever comes in is it because of Tuchel that he hasn't succeeded or is he just not good enough? There's all these questions. Um, some some names I wasn't expecting there. I don't think Bielsa is probably going to be the answer. No, he, um, he I think was, well, I don't think Pochettino's the answer, but I would imagine he's going to be right in the in the mix of it. Well, Pochettino has not really got the CV you'd be looking for in terms right. of trophies won. P forgive me, Tony Bloom and Paul Barber, Graham Potter. Well, he's not got the trophies won. Got to be up there, though, but Danny, he has the got, way he's going about his he's job. He's got great stock because of what he's achieved at Brighton. The way he conducts himself. The improvement of players under him and the, and the tactical awareness he's got, but be a massive departure for Chelsea, a massive departure. On the whole, they've gone on the whole, and I and obviously I put a couple of managers in there as an exception, specifically Frank Lampard and maybe Avram Grant. But on the yeah. whole, yeah, they've gone for top end managers that have got an absolute unadulterated CV. So this would be a departure. If Grand Potter, Grand Potter, this would be a massive step up. It would for be. Grand Potter. I, I agree with you. There's Martin, a Chelsea fan. Chelsea should break the bank. Go for Potter, the most progressive and forward-thinking manager who's been in the Premiership in the last ten years. You know what's amazing about that though, and he and I like him a lot. He's done. He, I love watching Brighton play, and and could you eulogise about him all day? He, he does. He, he probably will go on to bigger and better things. But it was only last season when Brighton had a hell of a bad run and couldn't win at home, yeah. and one particular game where the fans were booing. You know, things change really quickly. They do, Danny, um, but I'm looking just, at it. Every Chelsea fan in the land screaming for Potter. No, I, 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 I wouldn't be disappointed if I was a Chelsea fan if Potter came through the door. Absolutely not. That's not what I'm saying. But yeah. it's funny how the perception changes based on six months, nine months. Absolutely. Pochettino, the thing he would have ahead of Potter, if you like, because none of them have got a lot of silverware behind them, Yeah, is that he has at least had experience more recently at PSG with working with big-name players and egos and right. that type, you know, sure. superstars. Yeah. Graham Potter's never really worked with their super, you know, like superstar international footballers. Well, what I can tell you is we have a switchboard and meltdown. We've got to go to the Mike's a big Chelsea fan. Mike, good morning to you. What's your reaction? Tuchel has been sacked. Morning, guys. Great show, as always. Thanks, um, Mike. I, 
just, um, oh, for the love of God, I'm so disappointed. It's like you get through the Abramovich, you know, you get through all the bad press, and then you can see from pre-season that some of the players are down in tools. And, I, you know, I'm just disappointed. I said to my son yesterday, I went midway through the game, we texted each other like we normally do, and I went, listen, mate, I said, He's probably got four or five games and then the board will get rid of him. I went, it might be a new boss, but it's the same as the old boss. So when they, they just won't stand for it. And yeah. I think there comes a point where the players have got to look at themselves. You can see the players in that team that are playing for themselves. But when you've got players like Mason Mount that have been horrendous this season, and th- there's a reason. Oh, we just lost you know, Mike. Oh, he's back it. again with us. Okay, yeah, Mike, before you, go, get, before you go, give me a name. So Tuchel's gone. Who do you think the board will go for? Graham Potter seems to be everybody's choice, as far as I can see. Personally, I'd probably go with Graham Potter, but I'll just ask you this. If you're Graham Potter, why on earth would you leave Brighton where managers and players alike do things the right way and you're treated with respect? Ten times your salary. But is money really everything? Would you leave your job for ten times your salary? Well... (laughs) <laughs> okay, Mike, thanks very much. And go, going to squeeze in Sam, who's been waiting. Sam, good morning. Big Chelsea fan. Good morning, guys. How are we doing? Morning. Good, thank you, mate. Tuchel, uh, Tuchel gone. What's your reaction? Do you know what? Just want to follow on to what the, the previous caller said. I thought we'd got through the Abramovich era of just losing a few games and then firing the manager. I genuinely thought Tuchel was here for the long run. Um, less than 18 months ago, against the odds, he won us the Champions League. And then a few bad games, and he's gone. It's it's a shambles. Yeah. My biggest concern is who is who's going to replace him. I do apologise. I know you're not allowed to swear on on uh, radio, but Pochettino was at Tottenham Hotspur. I don't like to say that word. Um, <laughs> so I don't I don't want Poch. Um, Graham Potter would probably be my choice, but again. I don't know. I'd have stuck with two cool. I just think it's a really, really bad decision. Sam, Sam, what does it tell you about the man at the top, Todd Bully? We barely got to know him, but what does it tell you about him? It tells you that he's a pretty ruthless guy, but maybe he's just trying to, I don't know, it tells you maybe he's just trying to follow a bit of a, a Bramovich's culture to try and keep that going, which I which I, I know was successful under Roman, but Todd's not a, a, proven, a proven owner yet um, at Chelsea. So, yeah, it's it's come with a massive surprise. We were poor last night, but you know what? The players have got to stand up and take some responsibility. OK, Thank Sam, you. listen, thanks for your time. Uh, Sam giving us his reaction. Many Chelsea fans getting in touch. There's Johnny. I think Potter would be great. I can see elements of Brian Clough in him. He'll take charge of that dressing room. No-nonsense attitude. If given time, he will work wonders at the club. So last night, RB Leipzig sacked their man, Dominico Tedesco, after they lost 4-1 at home to Shakhtar Donetsk. Funnily enough, Timo Werner, ex-Chelsea, was in that lineup. This morning, Thomas Tuchel sacked by Chelsea. 